In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness and emptiness. But then, in a magnificent and explosive moment, the universe was born. A massive burst of energy erupted forth, spreading out in all directions, filling the void with light and heat. As this energy continued to move and transform, it created incredible and wondrous things. Stars were born, galaxies formed, planets emerged. But it was not just the creation of matter that was happening, time itself began to move forward as the universe evolved. It was as if the universe came alive in a spectacular way, with every moment filled with the potential for new wonders and discoveries. Today we are going to explore the incredible connection between the ancient Vedic concept of time and cutting-edge modern physics. In Vedic physics, time is not just a passive observer of the universe, it is an active force that controls the movements of the cosmos. It is the driving force behind the evolution of the universe, causing the unmanifest material energy to become manifest and creating the incredible diversity we see in the universe today. According to Vedic philosophy, everything in the universe is interconnected, and time is the force that binds everything together. Without time, the universe would be a static and lifeless place. But with time, everything is in constant motion and evolution, creating a universe that is endlessly fascinating and full of wonder. As Albert Einstein once said, time and space are not conditions in which we live, they are modes in which we think. This concept of time as a force is similar to modern physics, where time is considered a fundamental aspect of the universe, inseparable from spacetime, which is the very fabric of the universe. The laws of physics, expressed in terms of fundamental forces like gravity and electromagnetism, govern the behavior of matter and energy in the universe. In both Vedic physics and modern physics, time is the driving force behind the evolution of the universe. The notion that time is a subtle force aligns with the modern concept of fundamental forces in physics, which govern the behavior of matter and energy in the universe. According to this ancient philosophy, time is not just an abstract concept, but it's made up of the tiniest building blocks of matter and energy, the paramanus. These tiny particles vibrate at different frequencies, which give rise to the vast array of forms we see in the universe. To measure time, Vedic physics divides it into smaller and smaller units, starting with the paramanu. The truti, the smallest unit of time in this philosophy, is defined as the time it takes for a paramanu to vibrate eight times. And time is also expressed in terms of veda and lava. This concept of breaking down time into smaller and smaller units is similar to the approach used in modern science, where time is measured using units like nanoseconds or picoseconds. Imagine a universe that goes through a never-ending cycle of expansion and contraction, creating a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. That's the idea behind the cyclic model in modern cosmology, which suggests that the universe expands for a time, contracts back to a singularity, and then expands again in a new cycle of cosmic creation. What's even more fascinating is that this idea of cyclical time is similar to the cyclic nature of time in the Vedas. In fact, some scientists have noticed a correlation between the duration of the yugas in the ancient Vedas and certain astronomical cycles. Like the precession of the equinoxes, a slow movement of the Earth's axis that takes over 25,000 years to complete. This suggests that there may be a scientific basis to the yugas described in the text. The universe has a story, and it's called cosmic time. It's the epic tale of the universe from the moment of its birth to its ultimate destiny, including all the events that have happened and will happen in the future. This timeline is measured in billions of years in modern cosmology, and it describes the evolution of the universe over time, from the formation of galaxies, stars and planets, to the emergence of life on Earth. In Vedic philosophy, cosmic time is also considered a fundamental aspect of the universe. And it's connected to the concept of great time, which encompasses the entire duration of the universe, including its cycles of creation, maintenance, and destruction. Great time is the ultimate drama of the universe, the ebb and flow of cosmic energies that give birth to and destroy entire universes. As we contemplate the incredible connection between Vedic time and modern physics, 
we are reminded that the universe is a magnificent and wondrous place. It's a place where time is not just an abstract concept, but an active force that drives the evolution of the cosmos. From the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, everything is connected by the force of time, shaping the universe into an endlessly fascinating and dynamic place. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.